Hello guys, uh, welcome back to um, another watch review and this time will be the um, Casio um, the model number is MTD1087 to AV which I bought uh, last April and the price is in Malaysian ringgit it will be uh, RM119 or 119 and equivalent to USD 28 and I bought it online through a very popular uh, shopping online shopping in uh, Malaysia and in Singapore which which is Shopee and there are a few uh, models of this uh, watch uh, actually there are four of them okay the first model is the MTD 10F71AV which is the black version of this watch the other one is the MTD 1062AV which have three uh, sub dials and the other one is the black one MTD 1061AV okay let's have a look at the case itself let's have a look at the uh, case size okay um the case size is uh, 44.5 millimeter which is quite a large uh, watch and with the lug to lug size of uh, lug to lug size of, of about um, 51 millimeter the crown is unsigned and it is not screwed in and the bezel itself is quite striking uh, markings and numbers from 10 to 50 uh, in blue and the sides um, a top part of this is actually brush and the, uh, the sides uh, uh, polish it's all polished on the top it is uh, brush I forgot to mention um, the lug size is 22 millimeter the strap si as a size is 22 millimeter okay this is the uh, back case of the watch it is all stainless steel and it has a 100 meter water resistance okay the watch itself has the, uh, the day complication on the 12 o'clock position and the date on the 6 o'clock position okay the bezel has 120 clicks and this is what Casio's uh, claim as the anti-reverse uh, bezel I forgot to mention that the thickness of the watch is actually 10.5 millimeter and the accuracy of the quartz uh, movement inside is uh, approximately 20 seconds uh, per month I think the most striking features of this watch is the dial which has a blue striking blue dial with white stripes um, and also um, the applied um, indices and the striking red second hand which is actually I think is the most uh, striking feature in this watch all the indices are lume uh, including the uh, hour and minute hands even though they are not really striking and the strap itself is made of resin black resin with the stainless steel buckle and the quality is quite good look robust but if you don't like the resin band then you can always change it with a NATO or a leather strap generally though the strap look decent and in good, good quality and I think um, it just suit the watch
Okay, the thing that I like about this watch is actually uh, the price, which is cheaper than the Casio Duro, and it is also 100 meter water res resistance. And the appearance of the watch itself, which uh, on the dial, especially the dial with the sunburst effect of the dial, and it look robust, it look rugged, and. The downside is probably only the size of the watch, which is uh, 44.5 millimeter, which is uh, actually a large watch for those with smaller wrists. I have a 6.5 inch wrist, but I like big watches, so it will be uh, it will not be a problem to me. So even though it's big, but I like it, so I just uh, wear it. So this is a wrist shot on my 6.5 inch wrist. So I think it looked large, but um, to me it is okay. And I think the lug size of 51 uh, uh, millimeter, uh, lug to lug size of 51 millimeter will be the um, the maximum, the limit of what I can take uh, of a watch. So this is the Lume uh, shot, which is actually not bad, considering that this is a budget watch. So sorry about the focusing problem there, but it is quite clear. Lume is not bad at all. So that's all guys, if you like this video, please uh, subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And see you again in the next one. Goodbye.